Oh hi guys. One's cap here. Check out my base. Okay, let's go look at it. That's what we're gonna do to start off the episode today. Let's go take a look at it from various um, various angles. We want to get a feel for you know a feel for the thing for uh, for this treehouse. Oh, I can run through water. I always forget about the water. I always forget that I can run through this. Okay, so I have had two previous videos out where I feel like I didn't explain things very well. And I'm not going to take another stab at it. Um, but, uh, yeah, let me know how you feel about that. Oh, I wonder if we can harvest any wheat. That's always fun. Oh, I have to show you guys the new additions here. This is going to be a blast. So first thing is this. I don't think you guys have seen this finished. Well, it's not nearly finished. Uh, it's going to need about five layers, and right now it's got one. So there aren't enough spawning spaces in it yet, so I, uh, I don't get very many drops, any, very many monsters. I've had maybe two or three things spawn in here. Like a handful of creepers and a skeleton, so. Um, but it's kind of, it's cool looking though, right? It, like, it's the way the branch is wrapped around it and holding it up, supporting it kind of. We'll look at it from a few other angles too. Uh, but let's climb up in it. So I have added these windows that kind of give you a neat little view as you uh, ascend and descend the ladders and stairs. But you can check on the wheat from there. Some more windows. Some of these have a neat view. This goes up. For now, it just goes straight up to the top of this. Um, like I said, we've got one layer done. I'm going to need about five layers probably for this to be a decent uh, mob farm here. I'm adding, I'm kind of building this up, this branch up as well as it goes. So this one will probably go up and maybe move this direction, maybe wrap around this way some. Yeah, as this grows taller. This one is kind of cool too. We'll go over there. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go over there and look at it, um, the way that it kind of grows up through. Gosh, I feel like I'm really up really high. I'm going to get these other four layers on here. I'm going to be afraid of heights. Okay, let's see. The ladder's over here. We'll just go down this way. Is there water? Can I make the water? We'll just take the ladder. Okay. I kind of did this, which I thought was neat, which gave you a kind of a window into the thing. I might close it off in some more places. I don't think it affects the light levels inside there, so... Uh, but it looks really neat, and being able to look in there at your spawns is kind of cool. Okay, continuing on, let's go over to that pillar out in the woods. And kind of get a good look from that side. Uh, I'll just jump from here. A little treetop travel. This is how you get around roof forest for sure. Okay, I made it awesome. Okay, so you can kind of see, you can kind of get the idea here of what I'm going for. Um, with this branch especially, I'm going with my fist. This one growing up through the mob system it looks like. It's not, uh, so that's, I think that's really cool. Okay, let's look from this other angle now. Oh, there's a creeper. Let's not get it into a creeper encounter. I have a third pillar set up way off in the distance over there for us to look at it from. This is a pretty good view too. Um, and uh, this one being so far away kind of helps with the creative process, I guess. Um, uh, just giving me a different perspective, a different viewpoint um, to look at the at the build from, I guess. Makes me feel kind of artsy-fartsy and want to <laughs> want to work on it. So that's why we're doing this today. 
got the spider. Oh, uh oh, I'm getting attacked now. And I died on camera. All right, well, we're close, so let's uh, let's sleep in the bed and then go get my things. Okay. Wow, that man, I gotta quit dying so much. <laughs> I am truly terrible at Minecraft. Okay, there's zombies and a creeper. There's a creeper wearing enchant. Okay, I mean a zombie wearing armor there. Oh, a little bit of lag spike. Okay, we're going to go this way. Nearly there. Let's see, we were over there by the sunflowers. These cows, man, there are so many cows around here. I really think it's from that time my cow farm exploded and just there are cows everywhere still. I have slaughtered so many cows, uh, but no, I can't just can't get rid of them. I've learned to live in harmony. Look at all the cows here. Okay, so the idea was let's take a look at the... And let's put armor back on. That's probably why I was hurting so bad. And this one goes here. Okay, just organizing a little bit. Let's climb this. Okay, so this kind of is a cool view. And just imagine now with the uh, with the mob farm spanning five times as tall, so this tall, and then foliage all around it, and maybe two or three other farms like floating near this one. Of course, with the branches to to hold it. I kind of like that you can see all the way through right here. Um, I might thicken up the foliage some on the other side, but I like that you can see into the base uh, from over here. I think that's a, that's a neat touch. We might do something with this area next. I'm not sure what we're going to move on to next, but I have a bunch of ideas and a bunch of fun things that we can build. Okay, actually, I uh, I only have one carrot and two potatoes, so we're gonna plant on this bottom here um, of this. We're gonna screw all these seeds. I don't need more wheat. I got tons of wheat. We're gonna plant carrots and potatoes here, and we'll do two rows of carrots and three rows of potatoes. So it'll take me a second to get this bone mealed until I have enough to fill it up and then um, and then we'll do a harvest okay all planted let's uh, let's let it grow and we'll harvest it okay I figured while we're waiting for uh, for those crops to grow we could do uh, we could do a little bit of work around the place here oh that doesn't go there okay I don't have any gravel Let's, uh, I gotta have, I got 18 gravel as well. Okay, well. Uh, I need some dirt. Okay. I figured let's make, what is it, like this? Of course, dirt. Okay. I figured let's work on the path a little bit. The pathway to here and then maybe the one uh, between the tree and the nether portal over there. We don't really have a secondary location in our world yet, so I don't really have anything to connect the path to. Um, I am kind of, this is a pretty good path though, so we may put a path that goes from the front of the tree down to the maybe the water's edge over there, and then uh, maybe we'll build a dock or something. 
Uh, but today we're waiting on those crops, so let's get a path going. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep this night off. I don't want to even fight monsters at all. Hopefully he can't make it into uh, into the tree before night. Okay, it's over. We'll fight these guys real quick. And I'm on fire. Okay. So I kind of have this little thing going on already over here where it's like, um, where it's like nether, escaping the portal, kind of. And I wanted to put some coarse dirt. And maybe some regular dirt down. If I could prevent, um, oh my goodness. Okay. Jeez, all the mobs are coming after me right now. This is... Okay, we gotta fight for a second. Fight! Got him. Is that everybody? Was that a cow? Imagine that. Cows everywhere. Okay, anyway. Wow, I was gonna put dirt there. And netherrack there. Nope. Let's put the netherrack there. And put dirt on top of it. Yeah. Is that gonna grow grass? Is that gonna be... Yeah, it did. Okay, we'll, we'll have to use the core stuff down here then. Um, we can actually put netherrack here. I don't want it to be all netherrack. I'm going to have to get some other kind of nether brick fence, maybe some soul sand. And, uh, oh, I have some, um, I have some glowstone I can light this area with. That'll look pretty good. I'll build a little, you know, kind of... You can have an idea of what I'm going for. Kind of like the nether is seeping out of the portal here. So it almost needs to be a cave feeling. So we might build a like a cave around the portal kind of idea. Maybe like this a little bit. And then uh, where's that glowstone? That's going to work. We'll just put that piece of glowstone right there. And maybe another one right there. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Let's put one like that. Yeah, that looks okay, that looks netherish. Nether esque. So we'll put in some more nether rack a little bit down on the bottom there. Um, if I'm using coarse dirt, I need to use it all as coarse dirt. I feel like it's the grass kind of detracts from it a little bit. Let's put some Let's start here and maybe here. I wish I had some more gravel man. Gravel makes awesome paths Okay, I don't want it to be mostly coarse dirt I don't know how far out I want this really to To be spread. I think that's about the apex about as far as I wanted to go this one even is kind of too far Let's put regular dirt on the bar. Whoops. Maybe we'll replace this block with some netherrack, maybe. Let's see. Can we put some more overhead here? Maybe like... Maybe like this. Yeah, let's replace these all with netherrack also. Okay, are we taking it too far yet? We're not t quite too far enough yet. Not too far enough. Indeed. There? No, not there, no. Ew. Okay, well, yes, there. Okay. It's starting to feel a little bit like the nether. Once I get some soul sand, I think it'll take a little bit, it'll, it'll flow a little bit better. A little bit of soul sand, a little bit of, a little bit of nether brick going on, and actually, I think I can make nether brick. Maybe you smelt it. Maybe that's how you do it. So that's pretty good. I've got 28 coarse dirt left. So let's kind of make a pathway through here to the front of the of the tree here. I guess this is the de facto front. That's the entrance I've been using. Okay, but we're gonna kind of. Shred this ground up a little bit and put down some coarse dirt. And I'm just kind of doing this randomly as I walk. 
So it looks kind of like a worn, beaten path here. Through here. We'll go out three here. Okay, we'll put one here. We got. Okay, and just kind of keep putting them in just random spots like this. Looks like a path. And uh, we can add some more in now that I've kind of made it most of the way. Let's put one more right here in the corner. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and we'll add some more in now. We want it to be random for sure, but uh, I was afraid I was going to run out of blocks and, and make it too. Th I didn't want to make it too thick at first. Okay. Let's put one here and one. Well, let's put one here. Actually, we'll leave this one. That'll grow back to grass, I think. This one and this one. I got one more piece of coarse dirt. Uh, we'll drop it down right here. There we go. Pretty good looking path there. What else can we put in it? Let's see, do I have any sand? We could do sand. I don't think I have any sand. Oh, I have one sand. We may have to go hunt some sand. What else have I got? Oh, this diorite. This stuff. And andesite looks pretty good. But I think we'll use... Let's try granite. Let's see how granite looks in this pathway. More of a dark colored... Okay, granite's pretty good. We'll sprinkle in some granite here. Maybe we'll uh, take reclaim some of this coarse dirt while we're while we're doing it. Okay, let's put one here. Okay, we'll put a few. I want a coarse dirt here. Granite. Let's see, let's put a granite right there. Place the torch. Let's put the torch off the road. How's this look? How's it look? It looks pretty good. Maybe one here. And let's put one here. Let's just place a few more here along the pathway. And one there. And then it kind of transitions to netherrack. But let's actually... Let's see if we can't keep the... Uh, the granite idea going. Yeah! We've got two more coarse dirt. So let's place them here. And... Uh, let's put it... Here it looks good. Yeah. Okay, so let's walk this pathway from start, from here. Let's put a piece of granite right here. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. I need some more coarse dirt a little bit, but I'm out of, I'm out of gravel, so I have to go hunt some gravel. Okay, what else can we do to kind of dress this area up? Uh, let's get some fences. Let's see if I have fences. I've got three fences. And only four sticks. I think I have a ton of sticks upstairs. Oh, I got tons of wood. We'll just make a bunch of a bunch of fences. Uh that's a lot more than I needed fences, so. Oh let's see. Fences are now oak fence. Yeah. So fences go, okay, wait, how many sticks do I need? Let's make tens, 10 things of sticks. Okay, and then we want, fences are like this. Oops, like this. Okay, 36 fences, that's probably, that's probably, that's probably good. That's a fair amount of fences. So I was thinking we can kind of put fences along the roadside. 
to kind of uh, give it a little bit of accent. Uh, that was a little bit farther away. I meant to put it right here and here, like that kind of. Well, if we do little sections like that then, just to add a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like this. No, not like... Now, let's try here. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, like that. Okay, and let's put one here. Uh, like this. Oh, I meant to put that torch on top. Which, I meant to put it on the fence. Let's put a torch on this fence also. Okay, it's starting to get dark here, but let's take a peek. Let's walk through. This looks pretty good. Do I have any more bone meal on me? I want to bone meal the grass over there in that one little spot. And then I think we're good with this area. At least for now. I wanted to bone meal here and back here. Now, this is the road, though. So, the fence's job is to keep the grass off the road. Well, you know. Okay. Or should we put a piece of fence there? Yeah, let's put a fence here. Let's do like this. And then the rest of this can be wild and overgrown. It is uh, next to the tree of life after all. Alright, well that looks good to me. Okay, let's go check on the crops and see if they've grown any. See if we can't harvest them yet. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, look. My little trap has caught some things. It seems like it works the best when I'm down at the base of the tree for a while. Let's, uh, let's kill these guys. I don't have a way to kill them automatically yet or anything. Okay, I'm not hurting them. There we go. So I've got to come up with some mob crushing mechanism that, that I can use to kill them automatically. But yeah, that's not too bad. I got another potato. I'll take that. These bones. Nice. Uh, these bows I was just going to repair and throw back in there. Okay. Let's check on cultivation here. Nothing. Oh, I got another potato. Let's uh, throw that in here at least. Uh, I don't really care to waste bone meal on this. I'm not like dying for food or anything. So the carrots I just want for enchanting later, and uh, the potatoes I might use as food once, once I run out of beef. I've got 38 beef left on my person. 38 steaks, and then, but I've got all this wheat left, and a farm full of cows down there I need to do something about pretty soon. <laughs> it's not like in Scooby-Doo where you can just hide in the armor stand. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to work on a little bit of a building project. I'm going to add a second layer to this guy. Uh, we just killed those mobs, which was nice, but I would like to uh, be able to kill more of them faster. So to kind of streamline this a little bit, um, what I'm going to do is just make everything out of stone bricks. And then as I... Uh, as I build around it with, um, well, I'll build the outside of it with all these neat, with all the neat detail blocks and stuff. But I'm gonna make, you know, the inside of it uh, and all the inside internals and everything out of just solid stone bricks, and that'll be easier to to keep it decorated properly and and all that. Uh, I'm gonna have to gather some vines to make mossy bricks, and uh, oh, I've got cracked bricks in here already. 
Let me get those. Uh, one stack should do it, probably. Let's go get some vines really quick, and then maybe we'll get building. Okay, it's nighttime, and there are mobs all around me. But I'm pretty safe here, and I've got diamond armor on, so I'm not too concerned about the mobs. So I'm gonna sit here for a bit and gather some vines. Ooh, let's go outside actually and gather the vines from out here too. Oops. Oh, okay. I need that one back. I only have 19 vines from this? Where was that? I gotta have way more than 19 vines. Okay, well, fine. I'll just keep chopping vines for a while. What are you doing in my house? Get out of my house! <laughs> Two hits. Yeah. Okay, 30 vines. That's good. Let's get a stack of cobblestone. I've got three. Okay, so to make these, if you don't know, you just vines with stone bricks. And you get mossy stone bricks. You get cracked stone bricks by cooking uh, cooking stone bricks in a furnace. Okay, so let's climb to the top. And uh, and we'll build this and kind of... Uh, I need... Okay, we'll be fine. We can start with this. Uh, let me kind of talk about this a little bit. Um, so I like this mob farm. We're going to make it five layers tall. Definitely. Um, I did have spots here... And here, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Six of them. Two, four, six, eight of them. Um, and those spots were going to be places for redstone lamps. That would allow me to light the system up inside. By the way, I hear a zombie. Let's see if we can see him. Yeah, there he is. In there. I don't know if you guys can see. It's awfully dark on YouTube. But there's definitely a zombie there. And, oh. And he just, look, he's stuck in the water stream. And now he got pushed down through the middle. So I don't think I have anywhere we can see him, but I bet we can watch him come out down here. Yeah. And a, and a friend of his. Okay, whatever. Got distracted. So what were we talking about? The mob farm. So I had room, I had spots planned out for redstone lamps. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do the lamps. Um, it doesn't seem like that's going to be big enough of an issue. Um, that I would need to turn it off frequently or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and build these platforms. And I'm going to build all the platforms. And I forgot my uh, half slab, but that's okay. And uh, so I'm going to build all the platforms and then probably put a ring on the outside. And I'll probably have to wait until the next episode to update you guys. Because we're going to end it right here. So, thanks for watching. I'm Lenscap. The sun sets on this marvelous day of Minecrafting. Bye-bye.